and welcome to a new video. So you're probably going to hear me say that probably three or four times throughout this reading vlog and that is because I have started several different reading vlogs throughout the month of January and abandoned every single one of them. So I have instead compiled them all into this one big vlog. So you will hear me say welcome to this or welcome to that. Please do ignore that. This is all just one giant vlog. I've decided to mash it all together and this will be my reading for the month of January. This is pretty much a month long reading vlog and I hope you guys enjoy it. I had a really fun time filming this vlog. I do a lot of different things as well. So although there is reading in here, we also have a trip to York. We have a New Year's Eve. We also have a trip to Cornwall, which was very, very nice. And lots of other exciting things in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing what I got up to throughout the month of January and what reading I did. Before we do get into the reading vlog, I do wanna just take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, who is Serious Readers, who could not be a more perfect fit for my videos, for my channel and for you guys. I've worked with them multiple times before and I genuinely do love them and their reading light, which you might be able to see behind me here. Um, I move it around a lot because I go through phases of liking to read in a particular spot and the light always comes with me because I love it. I use it every single day. So I've had my serious light now for over a year and I don't know what I did without it. It is honestly one of the best things I have ever received as a reader. But not only that, I also use it for so many other things. So as a general light, but I also use it for other hobbies that I have. And of course, mostly for reading, which it is a massive help with. So here in the UK, it gets dark super, super early and it's dark pretty much when I wake up in the morning. And it really sucks. So I love having this light. So serious readers use technology called daylight wavelength technology, which basically replicates the daylight spectrum as is technologically possible. So obviously it is perfect for those cold, dreary winter days when you are just craving daylight and you need the perfect lighting to actually be able to sit and comfortably read. And that is another thing I do want to mention is these lights are great for when it comes to comfort because you can adjust exactly how the light is sitting or where it's pointing to. There's also an option to adjust the brightness of the light as well, which is another feature I really, really love. Serious Readers is a British company. They make all of their lights here in the UK and their lights are fully customizable. So you can change the color, the metal, you can have a lightweight or heavyweight base, a table or a floor light. There are so many different options to get this light exactly how you would like it. And the Serious Lights range consists of the high definition, the Alex light and the classic light. And these are the only lights from Serious readers which uses their daylight wavelength technology and serious readers has been kind enough to share a discount code with me that i can share with you guys and this will get you a hundred pound off one of their high definition lights plus free delivery and all products in the serious lights range benefit from a five-year warranty so this is a really really good investment to make for yourself or for somebody else it would make a wonderful gift for any bookworm in your life so yeah like i said i would highly recommend you guys go and check out serious readers i will have all the information that you guys need in the description box down below and in a pinned comment but thank you so much to serious readers for sponsoring another one of my videos and now you guys can get in to the chaos that is this reading vlog <laughs> My name's Judy and welcome to a new reading vlog. So I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. This will probably end up being like a new year, maybe like a new year reset style reading vlog as well. I honestly don't know. Today's Sunday and then tomorrow's obviously the 1st of January and it's my last day off of the like Christmas holidays before I go back to work on Tuesday. Me and Jamie are going to spend tomorrow in York having a little day out which will be nice and hopefully I can film some b-roll 
but I don't really know what my week's gonna look like because like I said I'm going back to work I'm probably gonna be busy and so on anyway this is a new vlog if you haven't watched my last reading vlog I will link it in the description I was pretty sick in that one and I'm still recovering now from a chest infection so I probably don't sound the best but yeah anyway I am not really reading anything in particular at the moment so I very briefly have started my reread of Crescent City and by that I mean I've read the first chapter so I'm probably gonna carry on with that but I might pick up a new book as well I'm definitely in the mood to read something new I just don't know what I want to read but yeah as soon as I figure out what I want to read I will let you guys know but in the meantime I have two fairy loot parcels to open so I figured we could open these together now and then I need to head out quickly stores close at four o'clock and it's ten past three so I need to hurry up because I need to go and buy another extension lead I need to get some polish because I want to wipe down my bookshelves and I also want to do a bookshelf reorganization um I don't know if that's going to be happening during this vlog but it does need to happen ASAP all right let's get to opening this so I'm assuming this is probably like a sequel I think because there are a lot of sequels out at the moment so oh it's not <gasps> this is pretty so this is my fairly exclusive edition of from blue cop with love by mariana zapata which is stunning it has this holographic font which is so cool and then we have these sprayed edges which do go all the way around the book as well and are so pretty um so yeah this is what it looks like we have a signature from the author we have these really cute end papers and papers on the back i haven't read this book yet but i've heard so many good things and i'm so excited and then underneath we have this gorgeous red foiling which is so stunning i am so excited to read this it says on the back that it's enemies to lovers so yeah, and it's an ice skating romance, and I've never read an ice skating romance, so very excited about this one, and I love this edition. Then next we have the YA December box, which I'm very excited about. So this month's theme is Artifacts of Power. So here is our little spoiler card, which is stunning. So yeah, the theme is Artifacts of Power, and the first item we have is this really cool packing cube, which will come in very handy. I recently started using packing cubes when I go traveling and they are so helpful, honestly. Like I don't know how to pack without them now. And I have a trip in January. We'll have a couple of trips that I'll be going on. So I will definitely be using this. This is inspired by an ember in the ashes and this is what it looks like. It has this really cool little detail in here and then it has a little handle and then you can unzip it obviously and you can store all of your things inside. So it does have various different sections for you to store things in which is super helpful so i love that then next we have this what the river knows scarf so this one's book is what the river knows and this packaging is so cute so it comes in this little wrap and i'm not going to take it out the box because i won't get it back in but you can kind of see it's like this satin material and it's so so pretty so we have a little scarf how cute is that packaging so yes we have this then we have a howl's moving castle tea light holder so i am obsessed with this already i love things like this it's so cute so this is a little box here and then you get the little like thing the tea light sits in and then it's like um metal pieces so you like put the bar in and like this little bit on here and it like spins when you have the tea light in it has like little dangly bits that come with it as well these little pieces on here and it like dangles down and it like kind of spins as you're burning your tea light it's super cute um i've had one of these before and i just love them like it's such a nice little item so yeah we do have that item there and then our last item is some bookends these are inspired by legend born and these are so cool i love these they have swords on it's golden color and it has this really really cool sword i love this i'm definitely gonna use these for like fantasy books see so, yeah, we have some metal bookends and yeah they are so so pretty then lastly we have our tarot cards which are fourth wing tarot cards so we have violet and we have exaden love these look how cute they are so yeah we have our little tarot cards and then finally we have this month's book which is what the river knows so this is a historical YA fantasy perfect for fans of the mummy and I cannot wait to read this. I've heard so many good things. So it comes with this little art card. And then we have our letter from the author on the back. And then we have the fairly exclusive edition of the book. So this is what it looks like. So it has a completely different colour to the original. The original one is black. And this one is this gorgeous kind of off-white. We have gold foiling all over. 
and again on the back then we have these stunning sprayed edges with the hieroglyphs on and then a solid top and bottom edge so so pretty i love the edges we have a little signature inside there we have these gorgeous end papers with the gold foiling as well then we have our naked hardcover which has gold foiling all over it this is just so stunning like look how beautiful this is so so pretty and then we have a reversible dust jacket as well which is very very cute so yeah very very excited to read this it's got romance and the mummy vibes and it's set in 19th century egypt i can't wait to read this like i said i've heard so many good things about this and i just know that i'm gonna love it so yes i will be picking that up very very soon oh and here is our matching little bookmark for the spoiler card um so yeah that is my little bit of book mail i'm gonna quickly pop to the store now to try and grab the bits that i need because i know some places are close tomorrow and we're gonna be out for the day so yes i'm gonna go and try and grab some bits that i need now um, and then when i come back i'm not sure exactly what our plans are for this evening we might go around to my parents and spend years with like my sister and her partner and my granddad i think my nan has other plans and my parents are at our place in spain so there wouldn't be that many of us but maybe we'll go there or maybe we will just stay here with the cats i'm not too sure but yeah anyway i'm gonna pop out now and then i will catch up with you guys when i get home and let you know what the plans are but yeah i am so ready for a new year i am very much a new year new me person i just love like the fresh start feel that a new year brings um and i'm hoping 2024 is gonna be a lot better than 2023 so yes anyway i'm gonna go now and i will catch up with you guys in a bit starting a weekend readathon with my patron shortly so today is friday it's actually quite late in the evening it's about like eight o'clock so i am starting it a lot later than i wanted to but i finished work i did some things around the house that i've been putting off all week and i made dinner and i'm just now sitting down to relax and start this vlog 
and this readathon. So of course I do have a very big mug of tea on hand because I need all the caffeine I can get. I'm very tired. But I thought we'd quickly talk about what my plans are for this weekend and then get into my reading plans. So this weekend I'm hoping to kind of have a chill but productive weekend. So we might do a few different things. It is all going to depend on how much time I have but I basically want to read as much as I can and then tomorrow morning I am meeting a friend in the city. We're going to go for coffee and then we're going to go to the bookstore so that's obviously going to take some time out my day but I'm looking forward to it and I will try to film if I can. I just don't know because I don't know if I want to film around them or not because it is actually my old manager from when I worked at the bookstore so yeah I don't know for sure if I'll film any b-roll but maybe I will but yeah I'm gonna go for coffee gonna go to the bookstore it will be a really nice morning and then once I get home I think I actually want to reorganize my bookshelves now I'm debating including it in this vlog or doing it as its own video but I figured when I am doing that I can listen to an audiobook and the audiobook that I'll be listening to will be A Court Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas this is a reread for me I have no idea what number reread this is but if you're new here and you don't know this is my favorite series of all time it holds a very special place in my heart and i love it so much so yeah i've been suffering from a reading some for months and i just wanted an audiobook to listen to and i just can't decide what audiobook i want to listen to i figured i'd give the dramatized versions of this series a go because everyone loves them and i've never listened to them before so i'm literally only a couple of chapters in i'm on chapter four at the moment which is page 33 and i am obviously enjoying my time i am so excited to be rereading this so i think if and when i do my bookshelf reorganization i'll definitely pop on the audiobook for this book and hopefully we can maybe finish it this weekend i feel like it's doable but again it does just depend and then i want to make a ton of progress in my reread of house of earth and blood by sarah j mass so it's a very sarah j mass themed reading vlog i was supposed to have already reread this by now but again the slump happened and the reading for this did not so yeah i really do need to make my way through this i obviously want to reread this and read house of sky and breath before house of flame and shadow at the end of the month i've booked the day off work to read that book so hopefully i can do it in time so yeah I, i'm gonna be annotating this which is gonna take a lot of time so i'm not hopeful that i'm gonna get a lot of this read because i know there's a lot of things i'm gonna want to annotate and it's gonna take me like some time to do it but yeah i figured i would sit and read a good chunk of this maybe this weekend but if i'm not in the mood to read this for whatever reason i am just going to pick up a book at random so some of the books i might pick up might be check and made by ali hazel which is my patreon buddy read book pick for january so i might start that i might read a fancy romance or something or maybe just pick up something on my kindle i'm just not sure what i'm in the mood for and i'm still very much in a reading slump so i'm really hoping this weekend readathon is going to get me out my slump but we shall see but yes it's currently around eight so so I think I'm going to get comfy in my library and maybe start reading some of this. I'm not sure. I might pick up a different book. I just really want to try and mood read this weekend so that I do actually read. And then on Sunday, I'm hoping to spend most of it at home just reading, maybe go and grab a coffee. And then I have my dad's birthday dinner in the evening. So again, I do have like a lot of social stuff happening this weekend, but I'm hoping I will still have plenty of time for reading and doing all the other things that I want to do. So yes, I hope you guys do enjoy this weekend reading vlog. It's been a long time since I've done a weekend reading vlog, really, like properly. And I feel like I need to get my vlogging mojo back because I kind of feel like I don't know how to vlog anymore. And yeah, it's my first official readathon of 2024. So let's hope we kick off with a lot of good books. <laughs> Bye. 
Okay, hi guys. This is going to be a very, very quick update because I need to leave to go and meet my friend for coffee. I didn't do a lot of reading last night. We're not off to a great start, I will admit. I literally only read like another 10, 15 pages of Crescent City last night. So I'm on page 30. Um, and then I literally ended up scrolling on TikTok and falling asleep. So yeah, not good, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. So I am hoping to read more of this today. But if I'm like just not in the mood, I'm going to go back to The Ever King because I was really enjoying this. I mean, I haven't really read much at all. Um, I'm only on chapter five. So yeah, I might pick this back up again because it's enemies to lovers, a romance, and it's kind of like fey and like it's like fey but with a pirate vibe so yeah i really want to read this and it is on my tbr for january so i might pick this up instead but i'm not going to take a book with me while i'm going out now because i'm already taking some books i want to return i bought all of the new covers of the binding 13 series on a whim in december because i really do like the covers they've grown on me and then like they've just been sat in the back since I got them for like a week or two now and I'm just like I don't need them like I already have the original covers for the whole series so like I don't need another set especially when I haven't read all of the books yet and I don't know for sure if I'm like obsessed with them so there's no point owning like a second copy of them all and I need like the shelf space for other things so I'm just gonna return them um but I might just exchange them for some other books instead so we might do a little bit of book shopping I don't know for sure if I'll vlog that because again I am gonna be with my friend I don't know what the vibes are gonna be so I might vlog I might not but I'm hoping when I get home later today that I can just sit and dive into a book and get a good amount read I am gonna go to TK Maxx I think while I'm out because I want to look at the Valentine's Day collection and maybe pick up a couple of bits from there and then I need to get a card for my dad as well for his birthday so there are a lot of things I need to do today so I'm hoping I can still get back at a decent time late this afternoon and get some reading done and maybe start reorganizing my bookshelves we'll see we'll see I don't know I might be too tired but yeah I just want to quickly pop on and update you guys I will catch up with you guys when I get home later and hopefully this vlog will get a lot better okay hey guys so I'm back home now and I'm freezing, so I have my blanket and a big cup of tea. Um, so yeah, as you guys know, I went out with my friend for coffee, which was really nice. We had like a really long catch up and then we went to the bookstore. I returned a bunch of books that I bought in December because they were like new covers of a book series I already own. But I just realised that I just don't have the shelf space. So I decided to take them back and I was originally going to exchange for some other books but they didn't really have anything that I wanted like I sometimes find good fancy romance in that store but there was just nothing so yeah Waterstones just is not it really at the moment but yeah I decided to get a refund and then because I had that refund I was like well it's like free money so I can go buy some stuff from TK Maxx so I did get a couple of things from TK Maxx nothing too exciting because they didn't actually have that much stuff and I still want to find some cute like heart like pillows and some like little heart blankets or something but I did get these two things so I got this red velvet cupcakes little candle which isn't very valentine's but it's red so it kind of counts um but I just thought this was like a really really cute it does smell delicious so I got that that was 8 99 and then I got these these are so cute look how adorable they are like I was undecided and like the stitching like they probably could do with another like stitch again um in the middle and like the string I need to cut off what are the eyes but there was only one left and I was like I can't have to get it and my friend also said that I needed to get it so so I got these cute little cherries look how cute they are like oh, they're so adorable I'm gonna put these on my bed or on my reading chair and I kind of feel like a fraud because I hate cherries in real life but they're just so freaking cute like the camera's not picking up how much of a nice red they are because the lighting in here is kind of crap but they are super cute so yeah i'm gonna put them on my reading chair on our bed um so i just i couldn't leave them they were too adorable so reading plans for this evening i'm still very much in this horrible reading slump 
I just like I don't know what is wrong with me I've never been like this before um and it's just like really taking the joy out of life for me so we're either gonna read some more of Crescent City or we'll say maybe this is not the book I should be reading right now when I'm in a slump I'm not too sure I just don't know what I want to read but I might pick up the Ebb King again I think I said in my last clip so we might pick this one up but then I'm kind of like do I start Empire Storms like could this be an option so I might like read some summaries of the last books because it's been a while since I reread them um and then maybe read this but I'm not sure and then I could pick up a million other books as well so I need to make a decision so I think I'm just gonna like go on my laptop I'm going to look at some book reviews and stuff. I'm going to see if I can find some summaries maybe for like Queen of Shadows and stuff. See how I feel and then I might start Empire of Storms. I just need to get out of the slump. It's driving me mad. Like I just feel like a part of myself is missing but I just can't read and I hate it. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to make a salmon rice bowl later because it's one of my favourite meals and... I feel like I want to treat myself to it so I'm gonna make that in a little while as well and we're just gonna spend the evening being all cozy and hopefully doing some reading um so it's currently 5 30 p.m so it's not too late in the day but I think tomorrow I am gonna spend a good chunk of the day reorganizing my bookshelves so I'm not planning to like take off all of the books and like start from like empty shelves you know like I'm not doing that because I have I think 16 bookshelves in here and taking that many books off like not only would that take so long but the amount of books that would be everywhere and like it would just yeah I just don't have the time for that and plus some shelves I want to keep like, like I have one shelf that has a lot of sprayed edges face out that I use to film stuff for work and everything so I don't really want to touch those or move any of them but I do want to like switch some books around and I have like all of my Sarah J Maas books on my black shelves I'm thinking of moving them to the white shelves so maybe the ones behind me I'm not too sure yet I haven't quite decided but I do want to do like a little bit of a reorganize and just like move some things around just play some books I also forgot to show you this mug I got a Primark which I think is so cute look at it's a little strawberry and I just put some pens that I'm currently using to annotate in here I'm thinking I'm probably going to use this as like a little like pen pot or something on my bookshelf but I'm not sure maybe I will use it as a mug at some point um but I thought it was like super cute but yes anyway I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go make some food and then I will catch up with you guys a bit later when I finally figured out what I want to read and then we will read <laughs> so goodbye for now I'm sorry this vlog sucks so far
guys, it's Jodie and I am back giving you guys an update when I can't even remember when my last one was. So I I just don't know which vlog this clip will be in because I started filming a reading vlog on New Year's Eve and then didn't really vlog much after that. Like I wasn't really reading or doing anything. And then I attempted to do a weekend reading vlog this past weekend where I did a weekend reading vlog with my patrons. And again, that vlog also <laughs> did not pan out. So I'm assuming I have smushed the two together, but I might not have. I'm not sure what I'm doing with which footage and all of that good stuff. But either way, I'm here to give you an update in one of the videos. So yeah, it is currently January 16th and I'm just on my lunch break and I wanted to give a reading update. I'm trying so hard to get my reading slump. I haven't finished a single book at all yet since the start of the year. And I very much did carry over my reading slump from the end of 2023, which is the worst slump I've been in. It's more like an attention span thing as well. Like whenever I just try to read, like I just can't. Like I can't explain it, it's so weird. Um. So yeah, anyway, I really wanna get out of that. And I was rereading Crescent City. I wanna say that, I mean, I was literally like four chapters into that. And if you've read the first book in that series, you know that the first like 100 pages are quite slow. Not exactly, like something big does happen in those first 100 pages, but a lot of it is a lot of names, a lot of places. So a lot of world building essentially. And I just, yeah, like it's an urban fantasy, it's kind of high fantasy, it's adult fantasy. It's a lot more intense than her other books. And I just thought it's probably not best to ease out my reading slump with such a book, even though I absolutely love it. And like when I get into that book, like I'm into it, but like, I feel like I just needed something like easier in terms of like starting off. Um, and I've been only an hour in about picking this book up for a while. And one of my goals this year is to finish more series, especially Throne of Glass which I still have not finished. And I know like, I'm a big Sarah J Maas girly and that kind of makes me sound like a fraud, but there are reasons why I haven't finished this series. And the main one being that I just don't ever want it to end. And I love knowing that there's books there for me to read for the first time within that series. But at the same time, I just feel like now I really do want to finish it. And I just had the urge to do it. So I read a recap of Queen of Shadows and it was a really, really good recap as well. Like it really did kind of summarize everything really well because my last reread of Queen of Shadows was last year. I can't remember when, I think it was maybe early to mid year or maybe it was the year before. It might have even been 2022. I honestly can't remember. I think it actually might have been like November, December 2022. So it's been like a year. So yeah, I did like a little recap and then I decided to just pick this up because Sarah J Maas always gets me out of reading some, she's my favourite author, I love these characters in this world and all of her characters and worlds and obviously with Crescent City 3 coming out at the end of January, I just really want to get out my slump and I really want to obviously reread Crescent City book one and read the second book before then and I didn't have a lot of time. So I figured that I just needed to read something to get me out my slump. Now I'm not going to say that I am out my slump yet because I'm still definitely like not out of it but I'm not in it as much now like this is the most i've read except for like work stuff in ages of a book so yeah anyway i'm 124 pages into empire of storms by sarah j mass and i'm loving it and oh my god the stuff that was happening last night like i was reading this in bed while jamie was sleeping and i kept like gasping and like i was trying not to wake him up so i was literally just like mouthing like words out loud but like with no sound like if you can imagine how ridiculous i look like because i was just like so like oh my god like what is going on and like one of my favorite quotes ever was just like i can't i don't want to give spoilers but yeah it was a really really exciting um few chapters my only thing is with these books is as you read on in the series more povs get introduced and like for example a pov i just read ended very 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 intensely and i'm just like oh, i need to know what happens next but i have like three other characters povs to read before i can then go back to like that person's and what's going on with them because it is that kind of fantasy structure where you are following like all one timeline and like all the events are interlocked but like you'll be following one character and like all of this stuff is going down for them and like the people around them and that's like one little tiny subplot, but then you've also got like the main character and like everything's going on for her and that's another plot. And then you've got like another character and it's like, obviously it's all linked and it's all happening at the same time. But 
when you're so into one POV and like the stuff that's going down in that, it can be frustrating to then have to read like multiple other POVs to get to that again, if that makes sense. Like those other POVs are still amazing, but I'm just like, I really need to know what's gonna happen. Like, oh, I'm just, I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, I am tabbing this book and I was annotating it, but I have just gone to tabbing at the moment because I was enjoying it too much, but I will like write in it if I feel like it. Um, but yeah, so far I'm having such a fun time back in this world again. I, it's, it's just so easy to fall back into this world and I just can't put my finger on what it is about the writing in the Throne of Glass book specifically. Like something about it from the first page, it doesn't feel like a chore to get into. Like you're straight in it and I just can't explain it. Like I just, I love it so much and the way it makes me feel, the nostalgia for fantasy makes me feel... I just yeah there's just something so special about this series to me and I honestly just love it so much so I'm so happy to be back in this world but I'm not ready for the world of pain I know I'm gonna be in because some of the spoilers I have seen for this book are what has made me put off reading it for so long so yeah and I know it ends like quite on a cliffhanger and then we have a K.O. book next which I'm not looking forward to he's my least favorite character so I'm probably gonna audio book that and it will probably take me a while to get through it um, but yeah, for now we are reading this. Hopefully I can make a progress on this this week. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to finish this book this week. I mean, hopefully I do, but still being in a bit of a slump. Like usually I would probably have read half of this last night and then finished the rest today. But because I'm in this slump of like this weird kind of relationship with reading at the moment and also like my lack of attention span and also the fact that I have very little time outside like my full-time job and then I have like YouTube on top of that, I have Patreon on top of that and I also have Etsy and I feel behind on those three things as well. So it's like if I do have downtime, I don't end up actually like doing anything because I just sit there and feel like anxious and guilty the whole time which is just really silly. But yeah, I just basically what I'm trying to say is I have a lot of things working against me <laughs> when it comes to reading but I'm really hoping that I will maybe finish this this week and be out my slump then i'm going to pick back up crescent city and make a good chunk of progress with that i'm also still listening to the audiobook for akatar which is a reread and then i also want to read my patreon buddy read book which is check and mate by ellie hazelwood so i think maybe i might pick that one up in between like this and crescent city just to like break it up a little bit because obviously they are fantasy books but yeah anyway i don't know this was a long update but i did just want to let you guys know that I am reading this. I'm live, laugh, loving once more. I'm also live, laugh, loving because it's snow. Like if you guys know me, you know snow is my favorite weather. You know I love it and it genuinely makes me happy. Like I feel so much happiness when it snows and when I just see everything dusted in like white powder. That sounded, that did not come out the way I meant it, but you know what I mean? Like where everything's just like glistening and like it just looks like sugar on all the rooftops and like, I just love how it looks. Like, everything just looks so much more magical in the snow. And I just love it. And the coziness and just, like, the excitement of it. Like, honestly, I need to live somewhere that's snowy. Like, I always say this. But I do. Because where I live, we never get snow. And it snowed last night. It's already melting. It won't be here by tomorrow. It will have gone. And that's probably the only snow we'll have now until who knows when. But, like, yeah, I'm just, like, so excited that it's snowed. But anyway, this was a very, very long update. So if you're still here... Just know I'm grateful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna watch some booktube and I will hopefully catch up with you guys maybe tonight or if not tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna try and get back into swinger vlogging because that is one more thing I did wanna mention before I leave you guys. Is that another thing for me that would motivate me when I was in a slump would be to do a reading vlog. That would always help, but I'm also really struggling with vlogging. Like I, I don't know what it is. I really just like, I used to be able to say I'm going to film a weekend reading vlog this weekend and I would do it and I would make sure that I did it. I would make sure that I read a lot and then now like I'm just not doing it. Like I've tried so many times last few months to film like a weekend vlog or a weekly one or a themed one and just can't. It's like I've lost my mojo. So I'm hoping I get my mojo back and I'm trying to get myself to pick up the camera and get in a habit of doing like weekly vlogs again or at least the vlogs I used to do. But anyway, yeah, I am going to go now. Enjoy the rest of my lunch and I will chat to you guys very soon.
about it now, I think this vlog is probably going to be just like a vlog related to that, but I might add like extra stuff to this or put this in another vlog. I'm not entirely sure at the moment, but yes, I'm doing a 24 hour readathon with a couple of my friends and I'm really excited because we haven't done a readathon together in so long and I definitely do need like a really chill cozy weekend. I do have to pop out at some point this weekend because it's Jamie's birthday on Monday and I need to pick up a couple of bits but besides that I really just want to stay in and stay cozy. It's very windy outside and it's supposed to rain quite bad so that's kind of like my main plan for the weekend. So my current audiobook kind of carried on through from earlier this month is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Bass. This is a reread for me. I have no idea which number reread it is because I've reread this a few times now. But I decided to pick up the dramatised version on audio. But this is the graphic audio from Audible up to the part where she has gone into Perithian. So I'm probably on chapter six or seven, I think. But yeah, I am obviously enjoying my reread. I just kind of need the comfort of this world and I've been in a really bad reading slump for a long time now and nothing is getting me out of it. So I figured I'd pick the audiobook up for this because I want to get back into audiobooks. I've not really been listening to them for a while and I really wanted to try the kind of full cast, like dramatised version. So I figured I'd do that. So yeah, I'm probably gonna listen to a bit more of this this weekend. I just don't know how much. And then I haven't picked out like a big TV or anything for the 24 readathon. I think I'm just gonna like go with the vibes and mood read. And I do have one read that I am currently reading, obviously, which is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. I am currently on page 349. So I would say I'm probably about halfway through this. And I think my kind of main goal, let's say, for the 24 readathon is just to read this book. I'm not in any rush to like read this super quickly or to like try and read like loads of books during this 24 hour period i kind of just want to have like a really nice weekend i want to go for quality over quantity i want to take my time with this i'm tapping and annotating it so i really just want to like enjoy my reading experience and not rush this to try and fit in like loads of books during this like a little readathon um so this isn't going to be one of those crazy like i'm going to read blah 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 books like i've done in the past kind of vlogs it's just gonna be a nice cozy weekend hopefully and i'm just really looking forward to a reading more of this and i know I am going to be like in so much pain by the end of it. I know I will be like, I am going to be sobbing probably. Um, but I am just really enjoying this. Being back in the Throne of Glass world again has just been the best thing for me. Exactly what I needed. And hopefully this is going to get me at my slump. I still need to reread Crescent City, both books one and two. And I did start rereading the first book last weekend. But I realised that that probably isn't the best book to start with to get me out my slump. Like, I love that book, don't get me wrong, but the world building is very intense at the start and very kind of, like, info dumpy, and I just don't think that's what you need when you're in a reading slump. So I might pick that up after this one, and maybe during this weekend if I do finish this book. But yeah, like I said, we're all about the chill, cosy vibes for this weekend and just having a fun time reading. So I am going to go make myself some noodles because I'm quite hungry. My house is so cold, so... So I have the biggest mug of tea and if anyone is going to ask me where this mug's from because I do sometimes get people ask me I bought this from a Barnes and Noble in like 2020 when I went there so that's where this is from but I needed like a very large cup of tea because I'm just so cold so yeah I'm gonna go make some noodles I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I'm gonna settle down and start reading more of Empire of Storms and I'm just so excited like my main plans are for the weekend and I guess I will catch up with you guys in a little bit.
hi guys so i am here to give you some reading updates and let you guys know what i've been reading have i actually finished anything what is going on um so i have just filmed a clip that you will have watched at the very start of this vlog if you're still here by now thank you so much because wow like i know that cannot have been easy to sit through for that long like i seriously do commend you and also just want to say a huge thank you because if you are still here i am just kind of at a loss for words like seriously thank you so much for watching this far for sticking around and just generally for your support and watching my content it really does mean a lot to me especially when i'm going through a very rough patch when it comes to making content and reading at the moment so a huge thank you yeah i guess let's kind of get into what's going on so as you guys will have heard from the beginning of the video i have kind of mushed up a lot of videos as this one vlog and that is because nothing has worked out for me when it came to creating content or reading this month i've started various vlogs to try and help me with my reading slump and my filming slump and it has just not really panned out plus i still am adjusting to the huge changes that happened in my life in 2023 i'm someone who does not do well with change necessarily and it takes me a long time to get into a routine and to adapt to a new one and i definitely feel like i'm very much still doing that so having like a structured work week and having weekends free has been amazing but it's kind of left me with just like spending those weekends doing things with like my partner or my family and not leaving myself the time to do youtube to do reading or anything i don't know i just feel like there's not enough time <laughs> like there's not enough hours in the day which i know everyone probably feels like but yeah so i am still trying to get into new habits new routines that kind of benefit every aspect of my life and also just trying to get out of reading slump that has been like happening for a long time which i know i sound like a broken record i go on about it in every vlog um, but I always like to give explanations because at the end of the day, like, you guys are watching my content. Like, I feel like I need to tell you guys. That is kind of why this vlog is, like, one big mess. Um, but I've done a lot of fun things. Me and Jamie spent the weekend in Cornwall. So we got home a couple of days ago. And it was so lovely. It's one of our favourite places. We go to this one specific village. And it is just so wonderful i didn't do a lot of reading while i was there because we were also with my sister and her partner so we went like on this amazing coastal hike for a day we just did lots of things we were like catching up and stuff um so i didn't really sit down and read i had a really really lovely time i've had a good month a stressful month but a good month i have done a lot of good things i went to york as you guys seen i've been to cornwall as well and i have also been to london i went to the Feybam ball for a work thing which was amazing it was so nice to meet the author of Feybam, sarah and to also meet some like general book lovers and some friends i hadn't seen for a while so that was a really really lovely as well so i have had a really good but busy month so yeah that's kind of like what's been going on with my 2024 so far hoping to start february off very very well i feel like i'm slowly getting out my reading slump and i'm hoping i can get out my content creating slump soon as well because i have kind of lost my not passion but i just feel like i'm a little lost when it comes to making content at the moment so i'm hoping i'm getting off that now as well so when i'm filming this clip it's actually the release day for house of flame shadow which i am up to now filming a spoiler free reading vlog um i think it's gonna be spoiler free i'm not sure yet exactly i might do spoiler filled for patreon as well i really don't know but up until now i'm planning to do a reading vlog for this book i will be starting it hopefully this evening once i've done some work stuff um but yes anyway so this is our today this is going to be what i'm going to be reading but i did manage to read both of these books before which i am very impressed with myself with because i have been in the worst slump i did start rereading house of earth and blood physically which you guys will have seen in this vlog but because i was in a slump i realized that this was not the book like i love this book so much i love the story but i will say the world building is very heavy and intense at the start and trying to physically read that like my brain could not compute anything so i decided to pick up the audiobook i've done the audiobook once before for this book and i did enjoy it so i decided to listen to it again 
and I listened to it a little bit earlier in the month and then just kind of didn't come back to it but when me and Jamie were on the way home from Cornwall it was like a five or six hour drive so I started listening to the audiobook again and I got through a good chunk of it and then spent all of Monday listening to the audiobook because I had the day off work and I was like reorganizing my bookshelves and stuff so I did finish this and five stars of course I just love this book so much I bawled my eyes out with so many parts there were just so many things in this book that really kind of tug on my heartstrings and there's just so many amazing elements to it like their friendships in here the romance the murder mystery element it also touches on like some more kind of darker topics and things like addiction as well and just like lots of different things like i just feel like it handles so many different topics very very well mixing in with all those other things and honestly i just find this such an emotional fantasy story like I really really loved it and I always will love this book and I love the urban fantasy setting so much like it is just so fun to read a fantasy when mobile phones exist <laughs> like I just love it yeah obviously five stars and then I finally read House of Sky and Breath now I listened to the audiobook for this I literally started it last night and I finished it today um so I listened to it on three times speed which some of you might be like what the hell how can you listen to an audiobook on three times speed listen I talk very fast and my mother is Scottish and her kind of Scottish mixed in with English dialect that she's picked up over the time of living here has made her a very, very fast speaker. So I've grown up being able to understand her and how quickly she talks. And like I said, I'm a very fast talker. So I cannot listen to audiobooks on anything less than two times speed. Like it sounds like they're talking in slow motion to me. So basically what I do is I will start at two times speed or sometimes 2.5. I feel like 2.5 is like my normal speaking kind of speed or what like I listen to and it sounds like normal if that makes sense and then I will boost it up and once I've boosted it up like to three times speed it just sounds like normal to me I don't know but I can listen to audiobooks depending on the narrator of course very 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 fast so I did listen to it on three times speed um and I really really love this book I will say for me listening to an audiobook especially such a long one there were parts that I kind of zoned out for which I don't like because I don't want to do that with a Sarah J Mass book, but I am just going to be honest. But overall, like, I really, really love this. And it definitely went in directions I didn't expect it to. The ending, I knew that big thing happened. And that was, like, the thing I was reading for. And when it happened, I was, like, in public and I gasped out loud. Like, it was embarrassing. But, yeah, this book, I will say, I don't feel like it was as emotional. And this splits off into so many different POVs. And we find out so much more about other characters. We're introduced to new characters. There was one thing that happened with a specific i don't know if you'd even say they're a character but they're mentioned that i just feel like kind of didn't really lead it did lead somewhere but like i was just like why like why is this person not more prominent why did this thing happen to this person like it kind of just kind of fell off and nothing I, I can't really explain it without giving spoilers some bits did confuse me though i'm not gonna lie like i feel like some things were a little bit confusing and there was a specific scene with hunt that i just did not like and it kind of has given me the ick a little bit um but overall i did really enjoy this but i will say i did not like it as much as i did the first book except for that ending oh my god the ending and like this is going in a direction that i love um so yeah this is obviously five stars and I really do want to read this physically so that I can annotate it and tab it and take everything in a lot more. But I did want to finish it obviously before the third book. But I do plan to do like another recap before I actually start the third book even though I finish this today. But I really really love this and I feel like I got a good insight into so many characters this time around. And so many more dynamics to how this world and its politics work. I feel like we really took a deep dive into that more and kind of the structures in here and we got to know more about the Astari as well which are terrifying I really liked the reveal towards the end of this book um and just the direction of the story but yes I am very very tense after finishing this so I have now finished both of these this month which I'm very very happy about because they were on my TBR and then I'm also still reading Empire of Storms, roughly on page 442. So I have like this much left, so not a lot. I plan to finish this in Cornwall, but I've been so busy. I've not read anything since like, I think I read like 
maybe five or ten pages while I was in Cornwall. But honestly, like since before then, I hadn't picked this up in a few days because I was just like rushing with so many things before we went away. Um, so I haven't really had the time to read. But once I have finished Crossing City 3, I will go straight back into this and finish this. Or maybe I will finish this alongside that or before, I don't know. Um, but I do want to finish Empire of Storms very soon. And then I am also reading Check and Made by Ellie Hazelwood, which is my Patreon buddy read book for the month. I have been in the reading slump, as I've said, and I've been not in a romance mood. I've been in a fancy mood, so I'm really struggling to read it. And that's not because it's not a good book. It's just I'm not in the mood. So I have put like the brakes on that one. And I'm just going to wait and read it when I'm actually going to enjoy the book and I can like actually talk about it like properly and like passionately if that makes sense in my vlog so that one i'm gonna pick back up again and i'm just gonna get the vlog up very very early in february over on patreon um because i'd rather create like a vlog that's good and where i'm enjoying the book than not so yeah i am gonna just like put the brakes on that one and come back to it when i'm in like the mood for it so i'll probably read it as like a palette cleanser after all the fantasy i've read um, and then I'm also rereading A Court of Thorns and Roses via audio. I've still listened to the dramatised version of the audiobook. I've picked that back up again. And I don't know how far in I am into that. It's weird because it's like the audiobook is split into parts and you have to buy like part one and then part two. And I don't know where part one ends. So I'm not too far off the end of part one. So I'm probably like a third of the way through my reread. Um, but I am enjoying that, of course. It's nice to be back in that world. And I feel like now is the perfect time to be back in it. So that's just like an audiobook I'm listening to for like funsies. Um, but yeah, those are my reading updates. So I finished two books, which is amazing for me. And I almost finished this one. But that kind of does conclude all of my reading updates and stuff. I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I know that it's very long. It's very chaotic. It's very jumpy. I'm starting the new vlog for House of Flame and Shadow. And it is the very last day of January tomorrow. And we'll be starting a new month. So I think what I'm going to do is just start a new reading vlog this coming weekend or on February 1st. Because this one is just all over the place. And I feel like I want to start a fresh vlog. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading vlog. Again, I am so sorry that it kind of is loads of unfinished videos mushed together. But I'd rather get something out than nothing. And I still like some of the content anyway even if it was unfinished and it makes no difference like it was all still a reading vlog it's just like a broken up reading vlog um so it's like a month-long reading vlog basically and kind of just like a general vlog of you guys seeing some pretty b-roll of what i've gotten up to in january but hopefully february will be much better when it comes to vlogging i am trying my best to get back into the swing of it but yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful 2024 so far reading lots of fun books. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing, what you've been reading so far, how your 2024 has been treating you, have you had anything super positive happen to you? Let me know in the comments. I feel like that would be really, really nice to start off the year with a lot of positivity in the comments and let me know what you're reading or what you've been loving so far, what books you're planning to read. I would love to know. So yes, please do let me know in the comments. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a sword emoji in the comments and don't forget to check out my description box for the link to Series Reader's website and for the discount code. Again, I would highly recommend the reading light and I honestly do love mine. So all that info is in the description along with the link to my page and that's where you're going to find extra exclusive content from me such as reading vlogs for our monthly buddy read you'll also find a monthly readathon occasional live shows monthly templates for your ig stories photos hauls all of that good stuff there's also a bookshelf reorganization video going up on there very soon which will be exclusive to patreon and we also have a discord where we chat and things like that so if you are interested in any of that content then you can head over to the link in my description and also find all the links to my socials but yes now that i've said my little piece i hope you guys are all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye